All right. They just said become a singer. Yeah. Um, but oh yeah, and another thing. I will be talking maybe this week or maybe next week. I don't fucking know. The next time I do my fucking makeup, bitch, I will be talking about my surgery because everybody's just like, Cardi, you got your ass done too big. You got your ass done too big. You got your ass done too big. But the T is, right? This is the Tiana Taylor right here. Oh, by the way, sometimes when we talk about T, me, me and my friends be like, ooh, let me tell you about the Tiana Taylor I got. <laughs> be Cardi, but whatever. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? The tea is, after I gave birth to my son, my ass was fucking huge. And the reason why my ass was so fucking huge, because, bitch, I almost fucking gained 20. And you already know my ass already have some motherfucking ass shots. So my ass was already fucking huge as, uh, as shit. Like, putting that baby weight on my body, plus them ass shots. So what I did was, on this round, let me tell you something. Um, in August, I did surgery because a lot of people thought that I, well, as soon as I gave birth, I, I got my body done. No, bitch, I didn't. In August, I did surgery and I removed 95%, 95, 95 of my biopolymeters. If you know what biopolymeters is, it's ass shots. And it was a really crazy process and um all i'm gonna say is right that if you're young if you're 19 if you're 20 if you're 21 and sometimes you're too skinny and you be like oh my god i don't got enough fat to pull on my ass and everything so you resort to ass shots bitch don't fucking do it like the only legit way to enhance your rear safely now is either using implants that you surgically implant sort of like a breast implant or using your own fat and that you can inject safely in larger amounts i mean so are the implants that women get are they made with silicone inside of them are they solid like this they're are solid they they're like filled? elastic they're they're firmer than a breast implant that's filled with gel hmm. but in a case like this what happens when they're injecting this much this volume you know, ideally, when you inject into the buttock, you want it to disperse in a way evenly into the tissue, right? Okay. But what has happened uh, in a case where they inject too much, it pools, which is a, a, a nidus for infection. I am super, 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 super against motherfucking ass shots. I'm super against biopolymeters. I'm just against it because a bitch that done had that done had two kids. Culture, she didn't really did nothing to my body, but my son, he did a fucking number on me with his big motherfucking hair. His big motherfucking hair broke my fucking pussy, got me fat, all that shit. So, anyways, um, yes, I got it out of me, but of course, right. They took it out of me, but they still had to shape my butt because they took a lot of ass shots out. So, please welcome to the show R&B superstar K. Michelle. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being willing to come here and talk about this in a candid way. The fact of the matter is, you made this decision, and you have been through hell ever since. Correct? Yes. It was the worst decision of my entire life. It was on the black market, but I went to a person that was well known in my music circle. You know? When you say black market, define what he was and was not. He was not a doctor. <laughs> he does this in a hotel room. He told us that it was jail, some type of jail or whatever, when it was actually free floating silicone in your body. So I didn't have any real symptoms until like five, six years later. What made you want to get silicone injections to begin with? Oh, I just wanted to be real thick. I wanted to be, I wanted to, you know, be curvy. And what was so messed up, Dr. Phil, if you pull up like old pictures, I was already curvy. Were you pleased at the time? Yes, I was pleased at the time. And then I started to look like an ant. You know, with the big butt and the little legs under you. Yeah. I started to look like an ant, and one morning I woke up and my legs gave out. 
My butt is a little fluffy now. Somebody said, do a BBL anthem. Um, somebody said, your body looks good. I, I love my body how I look right now. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what, what the supernatural bitches is talking about. Because, no, there's natural bitches that, that like, they just don't care if you BBL or not. Then there's some bitches that, like, will OD shame you. Like, they're shame. Like, nah, nah. Queen B, who influenced her to go under the knife, or rather the needle, to get ass shots early in her career. Instead, she says it was Young Money head honcho Lil Wayne. All I would hear them talking about is big butts. <laughs> and I didn't feel complete or good enough, good as that, as the other, as those girls, because I'm like, oh my God, you know, this is what you're supposed to look like in the in, in our in the rap culture, and I don't look like that. Minaj also praised Little Kim and said she doesn't understand why she hasn't been on the cover of Vogue. I'm not gonna say it's about me only, right? And not and not give that woman her just do about what she did. So, do you guys agree? Then there's niggas that don't get no pussy at all. Cause it, when you don't get no pussy. You the type of nigga that always talking shit about a bitch with a BBL, about a fat bitch, about a skinny bitch, because you just don't get none of it. So you just going to talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, I, I, this nigga did his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucking doctor right here, he's the motherfucking truth. That nigga butched me a great. The fuck? That nigga put his knife to work. Yes, he fucking the, the knife's up. That motherfucker right there. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway. That's what I'm going to say. I actually remove my ass shots off my butt. I remove 95% of it. Young girls do not. Not young girls because it's young and older. Do not. Whatever you do, don't get ass shots. Don't get ass shots, bro. I'm really against them. I'm all the way, I all the way support you if you want to do alterations to your body, if you love your body, whatever the fuck, I'm all the way with it. But do not get ass shots. I would never fucking recommend them. Um, luckily, my ass shots um, that I did when I was 20 years old, they never turned purple. They never got this color. They never did nothing stupid to me. Like, they, I never felt pain because a lot of bitches be feeling pain. And Don't do it. This is from a guy. It, the celebrities are even using a guy. And he comes to you flying me into your hotel room. Wow. You fly him in and he does it there. There was no doctor. So it's illegal for doctors to do that. Yeah, they can't even do that here. Wow. No, they can't even do it. So the girls that we saw were, that were getting them done in the Bronx, like, because, you That's know, very girls illegal. died. Yeah, and the girl got arrested because girls, I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of the bartenders here in New York was all going all to the girl. All of them got it. Yeah, and all the of them walking around here with colds. They don't <laughs> keep a cold every day. Wow. They running noses, colds, everything that lasts forever. They were hives. Like, you know, just little it's, stuff that you wouldn't It's a lot equate. of stuff that comes with it, and you don't really know. I remember my hairdresser telling me one time that yeah. she had got it done. And I was like, where did you get it done? She's like, oh, the Spanish lady in Harlem did it for me. And I'm like, girl, you're not afraid to die all because you want a fat ass? You can die, and it happens often. Um, I never felt that. However, like after I gave birth to my son and I gained all that weight and my ass just looked extremely, extremely big, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I got to take this shit out. I got to fix my shit up. I got to fix it. You know what I'm saying? I got a little, a little, little son, son. No, little, little, little. Somebody say, Cardi up here preaching. This is a podcast. Nah, because niggas got to hear it because I was like... People need to understand, right? Like, people need to understand that, like, a lot of people, they just don't come from the world that I come from. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of you, some of you motherfuckers, y'all live in the motherfucking country. Some of y'all are some college girls. Some of y'all are just innocent people. I don't know, but, like, my world, like, Maserati, like, you know what it is. Like, you from New York, right? Like, when I was a dancer and everything, like... I had the titties, I had the bomb ass tattoos, I had a six packs, I could do a fucking whole split, everything, but not split, but I, I could do crazy pole tricks, all that shit. But I was missing some ass. And you know, um, 
when I was 20 years old and shit, I, I auditioned to a, a couple of videos and shit. And I always felt like, like they would pick more of the big booty girls. And it's just like, you know, that is a, there's, it's a lot of peer pressure to like do certain shit. And then on top of that, like, it's like when you come, it really also depends on your nationalities. Like when you come from nationalities that like, they praise thick girls, that they praise ass, they praise thighs, they praise all of that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like, it's not, it's it's hard to just be like, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna walk around my flat ass. No. Some of y'all happy with it, that's great, but that just wasn't me when I was young, so I did what I did. Fuck it. Suck my dick. The fuck? My ass, my ass took me a long way, bitch. Mm-hmm. Made me a lot of money. Made me a whole lot of motherfucking money. <laughs> or is I was here in the studio, motherfucker. Why? Why are you asking where my man is at? You want to suck his dick? Somebody said fat transfer. Now, let me tell you something. And when it comes to BBLs, I, first of all, I, I'm going to let y'all know this one thing right here, right? I feel like all the celebrities and a lot of bad bitches always come to me for surgery advice. <laughs> y'all talk a lot of shit, but a lot of, a lot of them be in my DMs. And I love it because I'm, I'm, I'm a type of person that like, you, I'm going to help you. Just like one, one, no lie, I'm not even gonna front. Like, I need it, like, when I, I got my nose done. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I got my nose done, bitch, because I had a fucking big ass nose, bitch. My, I had my daddy nose. That shit had to fucking go. Um, but anyways, um, somebody from the industry helped me with it. <laughs> so, when somebody asked me for help, I wouldn't mind helping them. However, like, I just don't know every single surgeon in the world, so I recommend them to Surgeon Maid, which that's my friend. But whole point is that it's like, when it comes to BBLs, if y'all want advice from me, I'll tell y'all this, right? Before you get your BBL done, juice for two months. And I'm not talking about like juice, like just do that. Like, you literally have to make sure your blood levels are right. If a doctor say your blood levels is too low or you have diabetes or whatever the fuck, don't do it, bitch. You're going to have to live with your flat or your fat ass. It don't matter, bitch. Like, don't ever risk it. You know what I'm saying? I never, don't ever risk it. But I always recommend for y'all to drink beet juice, carrot juice, coconut water before you do surgery. You have to be extremely fucking healthy. Like, bitch, if your heart is beating a little bit too fast or too slow, bitch, you better not get on that fucking table. That's one. Second, do your research because a lot of these doctors be editing their pictures. I, I, when somebody asks me, because a, the doctor that's good for me is not, it might not be good for you because we have different body shapes. So I always recommend them to surgeon made. Make sure you get a surgeon consultant. Because, baby, when you go to these the surgeons could finesse you, especially if, you, if you're going to motherfucking DR or Columbia, bitch. Oh, my God. You fencing for yourself. So, I recommend to go to a surgeon consultant and go to the right surgeon because after you get surgery, it's just it's just a lot of maintenance. Like, a lot like you might get fibrosis that shit look fucking crazy on your fucking stomach you might not like your results you start getting depressed a little bit it's a lot like bitch it's a fucking lot it's it's uh a lot of work and i'm and i'm giving y'all advice i'm giving y'all advice because like as as much as people be acting like oh no this and that there's a lot of girls that are like they, they will never be content with what they have. And it's like, ain't nothing wrong with it. If you want to fix it, if you want to tweak something, bitch, what's fucking wrong with that? The fuck? Sometimes I be wanting to be more open because, like, I have experience. I have so much experience. And I feel like everybody around me got their body done. And everybody had their ups and their downs. 
But y'all judge people too much. Y'all judge people too much to the point that it's like, you don't even want to say nothing. You don't even want to help nobody because it's just like, y'all be so ready to judge and talk shit. And then it's like, there has to be somebody that guides you and, 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 and tell you the ropes of this shit because it gets motherfucking real, bitch. You, mm, mm, oh, bitch. You imagine you fucking working, working, and you finally got your little $6,000 and you about to, you hyped up. You're about to get your fucking body done and then you don't fucking like your fucking body. That's the worst. That's why I be wanting to help people, but y'all talk and y'all judge too much.